Hey, so it's like 12.46. Uh, Tyler and I got our shit all packed up. I can't see me. And uh, we ended up walking to the Walmart for coffee and a muffin. We've been here for about an hour. Neither one of us have a goal at the moment. Um, he gave me that burner stove, so I'm going to see if they got some propane or butane here that I can use that. I, he's in the McDonald's right now, uh, sitting there. I had to come outside for a smoke. Uh, he, um, he's giving up his walk. He doesn't like the cold. He, I go, I hope it's not because of me uh, that you want to turn around and go back. He's like, no, no, not at all. Um, I don't like the winter. And really, I told myself that I was going to stop at Thunder Bay anyway. Uh, I said, what? Well, I have to be honest with you. I like you and all, and I'm having a wonderful time with you. However, meeting you would have not deterred me from my my goal of crossing Canada. I would have left you on the side of the road if that's how you feel. Like, I want to go home so bad that I literally, you know, leave you behind, bud. So anyway, we have to uh, do some, uh, sh you know, stuff on the internet. He's got to find a value village, so we have to replace the sleeping bag that caught fire. Um, Look, my hands are filthy. I've been to the bathroom twice. I think somebody's fucking camping out in the stall. I literally, uh, you know, unless I boot the fucking door in. There's no other toilet here. I have to go somewhere else. Uh, so we're just going to grab some lunch and be on our way. Uh, Tyler, uh, he wants to dump his wagon. He's dragging a wagon, right? And a tent and everything. He wants to dump it all. And he wants to go hop a train uh, to head back. He wants to go home. Um, and I want to go home. I told him that I'd, I want to take him home. Uh, why not? I'm 41. I'm 37, and he's 20. Kelsey's 20. It doesn't that make me feel awful? You know what I mean? Like that. You're the same age as my daughter. Like, except here, he'll be 21 this year. He was born in 1995. I'm like, that's awful. You know what? Everything you tell me, I've already done, bud. Uh, sorry. There's 20 years difference between us. He's like, you'd never know it. I know you'd never know it, would you? I'm pretty much. I'm 11 teen inside my head but my number tells me, I'm old, I learned, I listen. You know, that's why I hate fucking young people. But then also, you know, some of them taste pretty good. Anyway, um, so I'm just having a smoke and then we're gonna head out to, I have to the dollar store, uh, cause I wanna grab a couple items. I got like 30 bucks. And um, like, I gotta get a few groceries. I need some bread. There's no way that I'm starting to walk back to a Toronto without having at least some supplies. Uh, Cause yesterday I, you know, that's what got me to come back into Thunder Bay. I was literally out and I realized, oh my God, I need smokes. I need bread. I didn't get any milk. I didn't get anything that I needed. So when Tyler was heading into the city, I was like, you know what? I'll go too with you. Uh, and then I had such a wonderful time bowling last night. Uh, you know, I met three or four or five new people uh, that logged in and, you know, and watched me. My little circle of sheep, they're getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. And that's the goal. Pass on your stories, tell people, create awareness. You know, people can't get away with the shit that they do to other people. And in order to do that, you have to stand up your ground. Grow a backbone. Say something, damn it. Do you know what I mean? Like in McDonald's, people are fucking staring at me. Why? I'm not talking to you, mind your fucking business. You know what I mean? Like, what, what, what's the problem here? Hello? Are, are you listening to my conversation? Like literally, is your name fucking Bob? Now get, you know, this morning, some dude is staring at us in the tent. I grabbed my camera and literally pointed it right at you. What? I'm sorry. Is this your tent? Do you know what I mean? Mind your fucking business. It just pisses me off how, you know what? I fell down. I got smashed in the face and I'm bleeding all over the road. Nobody will help me. Nobody's business. Then all of a sudden I say something about a vagina or a penis. And all of a sudden everybody's looking at me like it's their fucking business. You know what I mean? Mind your business. Jesus Christ. You know what? Stick your nose in somebody's business when they're getting raped or they're getting beaten down by their partner. Stick your nose then in it, you know? Fucking people. Ooh, that's my two cents. <laughs> Fucking rant. Anyway, I love you all. Continue watching. Post, repost, tweet, uh, you know, uh, tell your story. Post your story, share your story. Make the person right beside you hear your story so that they go and tell the next person and then somebody hears their story. You know what I mean? Uh, Change the world. Try, God damn it. Even from your couch, put your Xbox on fucking pause. You can do this. I know you can. I have faith in you.